so hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i'll teach you how to create new style of 3d cube text animation guys that's really simple and best tutorial for beginners so now guys i teach you how i create this type of effect so stop guys so go go to one file and i create new project yeah and guys see that's my composition check guys composition duration i like 15 second 15 and com name take anything and press ok see guys that's my only first com and next one guys click on here that's my second com and guys now i change breadth size so guys breadth size i like 1000 and guys height so lock uncheck and height i like 400 is good for me so guys composition name like a text and guys press ok yeah right see guys that's my space and next one guys I take new solid layer for background like a BG and guys press OK. So guys go to an effect and presets and type ramp. So guys that's my gradient ramp. Apply to on background layer. Yes. And now guys I change color. Start color and end color. So start color here. Like a guys color code is 275, 100 and 100 and press OK. So next one guys. I like pink color so end color so pink so color code is like a red I like red color so 0 100 and 100 yeah see guys that's my color and next one guys I apply text so go to one here and guys type your letter so I increase font size increase like this and guys type your letter like a motion Yes, and guys, see that's my alignment. Alignment check. Okay, so guys, now I change font. So guys, now go to on character. And guys, I change font. So go to on up. And guys, see that's my font like this. I like this one. Bold and thick. So alignment check. Yes, see guys, that's my simple text. Okay, so guys, next one. Go to on project. See guys, that's my text. So rename like a motion motion yes so guys duplicate so press ctrl d yeah that's a motion too and next one guys i take more this one so press ctrl d and guys see that's my motion 3 and double click on motion 3 now guys i change text so guys select and type your like a design yeah and guys same go to alignment and guys middle check yes that's it guys okay so guys same so select this motion 3 and rename like a design yes and duplicate this design so press ctrl d yeah that's it guys see i have four layers so design 1 design 2 and motion 1 and motion 2 yeah okay so guys next one go to on here that's my main com and select all layers this one and drag and drop on main com here like this okay so guys select all and create on 3d yeah see guys click on 3d and next one guys i take camera so camera check and guys press ok yeah that's it and next one guys see that's my orbit so guys see that's my orbit right okay so guys next one i take create like a cube so guys see that's my design so guys go to on here select and go to back like this yes and now guys select your this one layer and rotate so guys little bit up and press r that's my rotation and rotation change like a 90 yes and next one guys Go to on up like this that's my position yes so select guys press p that's my position like a 340 and guys also change position this one here so guys little bit closer closer like this and guys see that's my position here like a 150 or actually guys more like a 200 i like 200 yes so guys select this layer this one and go to on here 
so guys select this and press p that's my position like a 400 yes see guys that's my cube and next one guys i apply on here so select so go to on here and rotate so guys you can change viewport so press c letter yes so guys select this one layer and rotate so press r and rotate like this same 90 enter and guys position change so go to down yes okay so guys select this motion and press p that's my position like a 200 yes and guys little bit down yes guys position 200 is good like 740 okay so guys now rotate your cube rotate yes see guys that's my cube it's really simple right see okay so guys my cube design is finished it's really good okay so guys all is good so now guys select your camera and press delete key delete guys camera delete and now guys i take null object so go to on here null object so guys select your null object and guys go to on here active camera so you stop yeah so guys select your null object and click on here that's my 3d check yes okay so guys now select your null object and guys i create center pivot so go to on up like this see guys that's my center pivot so go to on up yeah like this guys position check and see guys that's my position like a 200 because that's my 400 breadth size so guys see that's my position position 200 because that's my 400 breadth size it's center okay so guys one more time select your all layers and guys connect to null object yes that's it okay so guys select and now guys press r that's my rotation yeah much better see guys that's my rotation right okay so now guys see that's my active camera check and guys one more time rotation change yeah much better see guys that's my rotation and next one guys i create rotation animation so guys go to on zero frame and rotation check guys go to like a one second and rotation change like a 270 guys i create randomly rotation 270 and guys go to like a two two second like a minus 90 and guys three second like a this time guys i take 360 and guys it's like a four second like a i take minus 180 and guys 5 second so guys like a 270 and guys like a 0 so guys go to like a 7 second i like this time like a 360 is good 8 second guys 8 second i like 90 yes see guys that's my rotation animation so guys preview check yeah see guys that's my really cool effect okay so guys now you can also change this typography position see guys that's my rotation so guys see that's my motion yeah it's first one motion yes so guys press r that's my rotation change like a 270 yes good and guys that's my design so guys go to on here that's my design one so r rotation change like a 180 yes that's it guys see that's my cool rotation yeah much better right okay so guys now i apply more rotation animation so guys see that's my null object and press u so go to like a nine second and guys take minus 90 and guys go to like a 10 second i take 180 guys 11 second and guys i like 360 so guys go to like a 12 second like a minus minus 180 and guys 13 
I take like a 270 and 14 guys like a 0 and lastly guys I take 360 enter yeah see guys that's my simple effect right randomly rotation effect okay so guys next one so select your all keys and guys press F9 yeah and click on here graph editor yes so guys select your all graph editor like this also so guys create shape like this yeah much better see guys that's my graph editor yes see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect right okay so guys next one i applied dynamic shape so guys go to on new and guys create adjustment clear so guys go to infect and preset and this time guys i use wrap tool select and apply to an adjustment clear like this see guys that's my different different style of style like this i like wave fish and guys see that's my lots of effect okay so guys now go to on wave yes so guys go to back and guys click on here that's my band check press u select your adjustment layer and now guys go to like a five second five second and guys band like a minus 50 and guys go to like a 10 second i like 50 so lastly guys i like minus 50 minus 50 yes okay so guys now select your all keys and guys press f9 and guys click on here that's my graph editor so select your all keys like this and guys same graph editor shape change like this yeah much better see guys that's my really cool effect okay so guys my shape animation is finished that's my final work and next one guys i apply background so guys so use solid layer like a bg and guys press ok so guys go to last so guys effect and preset and type ramp effect select gradient ramp apply to on background so guys see that's my start color to use white so guys stop and guys see that's my end color i like dark pink color like a 340 and 100 yes see guys that's my beautiful background and guys little bit up like this guys more little bit more see guys that's my like a minus 200 yeah okay so guys now i create this time shadow effect so guys go to an up so guys select your all not background and guys i use precom like a final text yeah and guys press ok so guys select your final text layer and press p that's a position and little bit up position yes and guys now select your position and guys press ctrl d that's my shadow yeah and guys go to on effect and preset and type fill so guys select your fill apply to one shadow layer like this guys i like black color black color so position change so press p so position change like this and guys press s letter that's my skill set see guys that's my link so link uncheck and guys see that's my shape so guys i like guys take 20 so next one guys and hide little bit increase like a zero point actually 105 enter and guys i apply blur glossian blur select and guys i apply blur yes and guys i like 250 glossian blur yes good so guys position change so press p position change and also shadow and opacity change so opacity like a 30 yes good and guys now go to back that's my beautiful shadow so guys fit 200% check and guys preview check yeah okay so guys it's take little bit time 
for preview okay so guys now you can change also resolution so use half for fast render preview yes see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect so guys one more time play yeah okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you